It doesn't take Abu Siddiq and his family long to pack up their life's belongings. 30 minutes to tear down the light bamboo structure where they have sheltered. Moments more to collect the rest. This low-lying area has been a temporary home, in the best spot they could find when they, like hundreds of thousands of others, arrived from Myanmar. But this location could be deadly. It is prone to flooding, and the seasonal monsoon rains are due to arrive. Hasina Begum and her children cannot swim. UNHCR, the UN Refugee Agency, and its partners are moving the family to higher ground and a sturdier home. They are part of a first wave of relocations of the most vulnerable. More than 1,600 people living in this flood-prone area are being moved to safer grounds. It's part of efforts by UNHCR to protect families who are most likely to be affected by floods and landslides during the coming monsoon season. With only weeks before the start of the rainy season in Bangladesh, it is a race against time to protect what has now become the world's largest refugee settlement. Aid workers are distributing stronger bamboo shelters to protect against the rains and grading hills to reduce the risk of landslides, and shoring up steps with sandbags and bamboo so they won't slide away. New footpaths and bridges are also being built, and boreholes dug to ensure clean water and basic hygiene. The urgency is there and immediate, but each relocation brings one family closer to safety. This one has a new home, ready for their three children and the fourth who is on the way. UNHCR has made it a priority to relocate the most vulnerable women, men and children here. But the challenge remains how, before the arrival of the rains, to bring all those in need onto safer ground. Yeah.